Hello everyone, the much awaited and the biggest update for my all-in-one rental Shadow that is version 3.0 is finally out and has got a lot of new features and in this video I will cover all of them. Also just like the last time I have got a giveaway announcement towards the end of this video so if you would like to participate please watch the video till the very end and without wasting any more time let's open up blender and see what is new in this update. So let's start with one of the biggest updates for this version that is the new HDRI library that allows you to access HDRIs from Polyheaven right from your viewport. So to access that you have to press Alt plus N. The interface is very similar to the material library. You can search for any HDRI you want. Let's type in overcast and hit enter. Here it will display all the available results. You can move to next or previous page using these buttons. For now let's select this one and choose a 4K HDR and it will show the download status here and once it is complete it will automatically set up the world node for us so here it is the add-on comes with an advanced rt world shader that has some advanced controls which you can access from the panel itself so you can increase the strength you can even add a little bit of blur if you want you can change the color of the brightest spot in the hdri using this extraction feature so if i increase the strength like this and change the color to red you will notice the highlights now have a red tint you can also change that transparent setting from here or even use a solid background color like this note that it won't affect the reflections just the background color so you can use it for some really nice renders and that is basically it for the hdri part now let's move on to p cutter so p cutter now has a fast cutter mode which you can use to quickly sculpt out the base shape for your mesh to access that you have to hold down control by clicking this draw button and it will automatically enter the orthographic view and you can start making cuts right away so let's switch it to polygon by pressing x and create a cut here and a cut here and another cut here and once you are happy with it you can simply right click to exit there are also some smaller updates like you can rotate the grid on any axis if you want so if i place the grid here i can change the rotation axis by pressing the tilde key so let's change it to the x axis and now when i press x it rotates on the x axis you can also shoot your booleans through the mesh if you want with this update so if i draw a cut here i don't have to manually take it down like this i can simply press f1 key and the add-on will automatically figure out the distance it needs to travel to go through the whole mesh and that is really useful and that is it for the p cutter part now let's move on to the next update next we have an update for the material library so the material library now supports the asset browser so you can mark all the materials you are downloading as an asset so let's say we search wood here and wait for it to show the results and now if i want to let's say download this material and also mark it as an asset for use from the asset browser i can simply hold down control while clicking this download button and once the download is complete it will be shown here so let's wait for the download to complete and now if i refresh here it is wood 078 and you will be able to use it in your future projects right from the asset browser so that is really cool but it is only available in blender version 3.0 as asset browser was introduced in blender 3.0 so if you are using any previous version it won't be available for you so just keep that in mind and now let's move on to the next update next we have some updates for the simulations so first of all the cloth simulation is now broken into two different parts first is the remeshing and second is the simulation itself so let's try this new version the older version could not handle cases like this where the faces were on opposite sides of the mesh but this version can so let's click this remesh for cloth and hit ok and once the sim remeshing is done you can simply click this create cloth button to start the simulation so let's pause it and apply the modifiers so we have a non-destructive mesh and this is really cool now let's move on to cable simulations so let's create a cable here and let's convert it to multiple cables like this now in the previous version if i wanted to simulate this i would need to add collision to all these objects manually but this is no longer required all i have to do is simply click the simulate wire button and it will handle all the collision modifier adding and removing stuff and once you are happy with it you can simply left click to confirm now you have a simulated cable and this is really cool and now let's move on to next update next we have some updates for the bake tools so if you are using something like substance printer and you use id maps a lot 
you can now bake item apps right from the rentals bake tool section so let's try that so let's select this and press alt plus a and there is this new option called id maps once you select this and hit bake textures it will automatically generate random colors and bake them into an it map so let's wait to complete here it is and next we also have the ability to bake multiple objects to single texture so if i want to bake all these into a single image i can do that as well so let's change it to diffuse and unselect id maps you have to keep this bake all object to single image checked in order to bake it to single image otherwise they will be baked separately so let's hit bake textures and wait a little bit and there we have it both these objects were baked into this single image texture and note that all both these were properly uv undapped into a single square so make sure you do that also before baking them otherwise there might be some overlaps and other issues so that is it for the bake tools update now let's move on to some other updates next let's talk about some ui updates so first of all the complete add-on is now available in japanese so if you're from japan and you like to use blender in your local language now you can use even rentals in your local language all this text is now translated into japanese even the on-screen uis and stuff if you find any mistakes please do let me know as i only had google and some other translation engines to translate as i don't speak japanese so let's switch the language back to english now and talk about some other ui updates now you can change the location and position of all this text from the preferences as well so let's open the preferences again and under this on screen ui section you can change the location position and everything even the colors so if i click here and if i want this section to appear on the left side instead of the right side i can simply flip left and right and let's change it back you can change the location from the right side from the left side from the top and from the bottom and you can change the font size as well if you are on a higher resolution display the font might be a little small you also have all the key maps for the add-on and now built right into the add-on preferences so you can adjust them all from here there are a lot of them so if you need to reconfigure you can do it straight from the add-on preferences instead of going into this key map section so those were all the big updates for this version and for some smaller updates you can check out the complete change log in the description below and now let's talk about the giveaway the rules for the giveaway are very similar to the last time all you have to do is simply like the video subscribe to the channel and in the comment section tell me which of these toolkits you find the most useful it could be p cutter material library hdri library cable tools batch rendering or whatever and i'll pick one of you randomly to give a free copy of rent tools complete and with that we come to the end of this video the links for the add-on as always are in the description below so please go check them out if you find the add-on interesting and i'll see you in the next one